All right, 1988 Chevy 1500, 5.7 liter. Um, symptoms were um, that it would crank over. The crazy thing was, was it happened after he was uh, he he was telling me that his steering wheel locked up. So I, I sprayed some um, Marvin's mystery oil on the key switch, and and then after I did that. Um, we had this issue. It started up after I first did that, and then boom, nothing. Um, no spark. And so, um, also noticed, though, that it wasn't getting any any fuel flow either. So, you know, tried to put the gas in there and, and all that stuff to try to um, see if it was a spark issue or a fuel issue. And, and it was both. <laughs> it wouldn't put out any fuel and wouldn't put out any spark. So, um, the, um, the the gentleman I'm working for uh, suggested that I, uh, I change out the module. So, um, get one of the modules here. Let's see where to go. The old uh, TBI um, module here. Um, so, I changed the module out. Um, and um with this it came from a chevy 1993 chevy van um and and we put the uh the module on and and plugged it up and all that and still no spark still same thing so um so um our next uh, thing to do was to try to uh, potentially change out this uh uh, coil, but we knew that in the series of this ignition system, we had the pickup coil underneath the um, with the pickup coil right here, and then the distributor uh, basically new, so that wasn't the issue. The rotor and all that stuff looked good, but I think the key here is that we weren't getting fuel and we weren't getting spark. So, um, as I, um, looked at some of the other YouTube posts, um, in some of the testing, um, uh, situations and, te uh, situa uh, techniques, um, I determined that the coil was good because, uh, the, the ohm readings were good from the primary and the secondary, and, and then, um, here we had a good reading, um, uh, my suspicion was uh, at this point the um, the um, um, the whatever that uh, the coil the pickup coil uh, because of the fact that we weren't getting fuel as well. So uh, then when I took an ohm reading um, from the uh, connector. Um, uh, the the two um, the two wires from the pickup coil. My ohm readings on this one was um, let me get it. As you can tell, I'm just getting all kinds of weird readings. I'm getting see that right here is a milli ohm reading, um, which falls way out of range, um, which should be 500 to 1500 ohms. And so when I tested the um, distributor from I put in a distributor from a 1993 um, 5.7 liter Chevy van uh, G20. I was getting the um, 0.8 kilo ohm right here. And yours is going to be different, but see milli, and then uh, I was getting the kilo ohm reading, which uh, 0.8 goes to 800 ohms, but it really was 850 ohms, and that falls well within the range of 500 to 1500 ohms, so at that point, um, I went ahead and um, changed out the distributor, put the used distributor in, um, that was a little difficult, I had it, I had the rotor lined up to that bolt right there in the firewall, but, and when I tried to put it back in, it kept on sliding, sliding past it, aiming uh, a good ways off from that bolt. So, the man I'm working for 
told me that I needed to, and I literally had to get my light down in there and get my face as far as I could so I could get my my big screwdriver, my long screwdriver here, and turn that little gear inside of there um, almost about straight. So when I put that that in there, it it veered right towards that that bolt and so um when i then and then on the first crank we had a good startup like this and um didn't even have to do any fine tuning to it um i got it as close as uh what i felt like it needed to be and um just drives down the road really good we don't overrun or anything like that so that was a good good diagnosis and fix um, again um, also just to uh, by way of information it I did end up putting back the old um, module because I took it to O'Reilly's and O'Reilly's uh, tested it out and tested it out that it was good so we got the original um, the uh, the module that had been replaced uh, six years ago we still have the original coil um didn't have to do anything with the fuel system just uh, now i could have changed out the pickup coil that would have cost 12 bucks at o'reilly's i had it in stock but uh that looks like a pretty pretty uh, uh, uh difficult chore um i just happened to have a, a just use distributor on hand and uh, we went with that and it was a good choice so we've got a, a good fix um took a little while uh, but this old truck's still going